hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a video on my liquid lipstick collection this is a very highly re requested video and before I even start talking about anything I just want to say disclaimer this is not to gloat so everyone knows that I like to collect lipsticks and I feel like my collection isn't, isn't even that much but hey that's just me and I'm happy with what I have but I don't need any negative comments in my comment section that will be deleted and blocked do you hear me um, a lot of people collect different things in their lives. People collect cars, people collect shoes, designer bags, etc. I just collect lipstick, so let me live because I know how the internet can be and I just want to put that out there. But with that aside, welcome back to my channel. This video might be long, so I have my breakfast slash lunch smoothie here. So grab you a cup of water, some coffee, Starbucks, whatever. So let's jump right into it. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the different brands that I've collected over the years, um, what I like about them, the pros and the cons, and then my top five, and then the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's jump right into it. So the first brand I'm going to be talking about today is ColourPop. Everybody loves ColourPop. Why? Because ColourPop is affordable. It is only six dollars. Um, made in the USA, cruelty free, vegan. Some so, so okay. I'm not vegan. So it doesn't really affect me if my makeup is or isn't. But if it does affect you, you might want to go check on their website. I know the majority of all ColourPop lipsticks are not vegan. Unless they specify that they are vegan. But they have a list on their website, so just go look. But um, I keep my liquid lipsticks in the Michaels. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's the equivalent to the... And a cheaper version of the Alex Draws from... Um, from Ikea and then I keep but uh, I sort it by uh, brand so this little thingy has all my color pop in here and this is was a stack like you stack them up together like this I got them from the container store but when I got my drawers I was trying to figure out how to organize my lipstick so I decided to put each one in a little container thingy like that so this container has my entire uh, color pop collection um, as you can see and then I have some on this side so this includes the metallics the ultra satin and the matte liquid lipsticks so majority of the colors here are the colors that I decided to keep and some of the colors like lychee uh, succulent and stuff like that I got rid of them instigator I got rid of a lot of colors because there was just no point keeping them because they don't work for my skin tone so uh, pros and cons of uh, color pop ColourPop is $6. You can't beat it. You cannot beat it. You cannot beat it. You cannot beat it. Um, it's very affordable. It's made in America. And shipping sometimes takes 3 to 5, depending on where you're at, or 3 to 7. So, cons. Y'all know that ColourPop sometimes does not make women of color friendly colors. This is my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Um, a lot of their colors are really, really, like, ashy looking. So, some of those colors I got rid of. And another thing I don't like about ColourPop is that the formula for certain colors are not the same. For example, when I had Drive-In and Lychee, they were really, really streaky. I will link my initial, my first ever ColourPop review in the uh, description bar so you can see what I'm talking about. Some of those colors were just not okay. I, I literally gave them away, I think, on my channel or to people that I know. But some of the formulas are not the same. For so. For, let's say, neon colors, I realize that the formula isn't the same as a, uh, as a what a pastel color would look like. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. As far as the uh, liquid lipstick side go, um, some of them go on like paint and some of them don't. Again, the consistency of all the formulas that they have are not the same for the liquid lipsticks. The Ultra Satin, I love. There's, there, I have no complaints about the Ultra Satin. And then the metallics that I just did recently, I just feel like there's too much glitter in them on my skin tone. On other skin tones, it actually looks great. But on my skin tone, I feel like there's more glitter and there's more sheen than anything. And I'll have to tone it down. So that is it for um, ColourPop. All right, you guys. So the next brand I'm going to be talking about is Color Drain. And in this little container, I have Majority Color Drain. I have Lip Bar in here, but I would start with Color Drain before I move on. And y'all know that when I first started with liquid lipsticks, Color Drain was my first love. And it is up there with my favorite brands. But um, Color Drain is black owned. <laughs> and it is vegan and cruelty free. Made in the USA. 
and the owner is uh, African American and her name is Lorraine so pros and cons of color drain pros and cons let's see what I have what I have here all right pros and cons is they have a very nice color range, color range and all her colors well majority of her colors look very well like look amazing on, on dark skin and that is one of my, my problems and issues with uh, liquid lipstick companies these days like they make all these colors that are not black girl friendly and I'm just over here looking like well I'm not gonna buy it because it's gonna look like toothpaste on me but with uh, color drain it it looks actually it looks great on all skin tones especially dark skin girls um, the form okay so the formula some of the formulas are like liquidy but still a little bit creamy and some of them have like a mousse like texture like my cherry blossom it has like a thick consistency and then my brick brick house doesn't have the same consistency so I guess this applies to all companies because I'm gonna say that about every company of liquid lipstick that I have because every formula is not the same except a few that they have the same consistency throughout and I'll talk I'll tell you I think Ofra, Kylie Cosmetics, Anastasia and Kat Von D are the only ones that have the same consistency throughout all their colors but cons so cons of color drain some of the colors are really really drying now a lot of y'all have complained to me that your color drain I mean your cherry blossom is really really dry and crumbles etc unfortunately I don't have the same problems with my uh, uh, cherry blossom but I have the same problems with other colors um, some colors can be patchy when you apply it for example kiss me it doesn't have like an even application you know so you just have to keep layer layering it you have to keep layering layering it on jeez tongue twister you have to keep putting it on and some colors don't have like cream or moisturizer in them some of them go on like paint like you just put it on and so what I mean by paint is you really have to moisturize your lips and I use always use aquaphor so you have to moisturize before applying majority of this um, lipsticks because they just go on and like like paint and then they dry extremely matte which makes some of it uncomfortable but overall I love color drain and um, let me know what you guys think about color drain in the description bar and color pop what your pros and cons are so the next uh, company that I'm, I'm just gonna tackle the other brands that are in here so the next one that I wanted to talk about are lip bar the products from lip bar so I just found out about lip bar recently and I bought three colors on my own and ever since I bought them they were kind enough to send me a couple more so lip bar is really really liquidy as you I don't know if you guys can see in here it's really really kind of like runny can you guys see I wish you can see it going back and forth but you can't it's really really liquidy so you kind of like have to shake it to get everything to because when it's when you're not using it it separates and that's what I'm noticing so you gotta have you know like shake it etc so uh, lip bar is black owned and I think it is made in America I know they're in Detroit the company is still fairly new I think and they their theme or motto or tagline is that they are not drying um, but to me they are still drying but not as drying as some other brands that I have so they have a lot of shea, shea oil vitamin E oil in them to prevent your lips from cracking up and drying up etc pros and cons pros they have vibrant colors they look great on dark skin and they're very affordable they are uh, eleven dollars and ninety cents okay and then cons is that the only thing that I had to say is that even though they said that it is non drying it was still drying for me you know what I mean like every liquid lipstick is drying so very comfortable even though it dries down and these are all the colors that I have from the lip bar so my favorite color from uh, the lip bar will be boss lady and savage if you're looking for swatches I'll link them in the description bar and savage is on my Instagram page there's a 15 or 30 minute clip on my Instagram page of savage so go check that out so Anastasia Beverly Hills run for $20 and I think that that is a bit much in the lip, liquid lipstick world but hey that's why I only got two hello so my first color that I bought ever was in trust issues this color is absolutely amazing 
and the formula for all Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks are the same they're all the same moussey like soft texture this is trust issues I absolutely love it when it dries down on dark skin it is a beautiful beautiful taupey brown mothy color um, they are cruelty free and made in the USA so it says that right on the bottom if you are interested now pros and cons pros is that the formula is the same consistency for all her colors um, even though I only have two I spend a lot of time at Sephora swatching these things and y'all know that so like the newer line Catherine and Ashton etc I swatched them all at Sephora but I felt like I had similar colors for my color pop etc um, the con is that her neon colors, which I happen to have one in Madison, can be very, very, very patchy and streaky when you put it on. It's like, kind of, kind of like, even though it's creamy and the formula is the same, it dries kind of like, like chalk almost, like a chalk mixture. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. But that is the only side, the only bad thing I have to say about it, and I only have two colors, but again... Like I was saying before, some of these neon colors from all over are the same way. I don't know why, but you'll, you'll see that I'm going to be saying that all the time in my video. But so far, this is in my top five, you guys, because the formula is amazing. It is creamy. It goes on like butter. It is. It, it doesn't dry too matte. It's just comfortable all throughout the day. And sometimes when you purse your lips together like this, it can be tacky and like... This is um, Court K by Kylie Cosmetics and it isn't tacky, but Anastasia Beverly Hills has that tacky effect. So the next brand in this same container is uh, Kat Von D and I only have two colors from her collection. So the two colors that I have are in Exorcism and Vampira. I hope I'm saying those right. They are vampy fall colors that I absolutely love. Uh, Kat Von D formula is also the same consistency throughout. I don't know what she did differently or how she got it right, but her formula is almost the same as uh, Anastasia. Very creamy all through, non-drying, very pigmented. I really don't have anything bad to say about these because they are really, really, really good. Um, I don't have any of her neon colors because I you typically don't gravitate towards colors like that. I usually just get colors that I feel will look well without any assistance, you know what I'm saying? So that is that for Cap on D. Alright you guys, so in this container I have Lena Lashes, Gerard, and a Lime Crime. I'm missing a Lime Crime color, but I'll find that later. So I'm just going to tackle the three brands in this container. So I'm going to start with Lena Lashes. Lena Lashes is black owned and her name is Marlene. She's a YouTuber also here. Started off with lashes and then, you know, progressed into liquid lipsticks, etc. Uh, Little Lashes is not made in the USA. I'm, re I'm reading my notes. Um, shipping time may vary. Um, they are called more than matte. And when I tell y'all that they did not lie when they say that they are more than matte, we will get to that in a minute. They are cruelty free and they're vegan. Okay, so pros and cons. Pros is that I love that it's a black person that owns it and it's a black woman. Hello. And um, they have unique colors. Their packaging is amazing. They have like the Louboutin, like I don't have my, I don't know, yeah, I don't have my old packaging from like the coffin look or whatever. Really, really unique. Now, her formula is the same consistency throughout. However, I'm moving to my cons. But before I go to cons, the, her consistency is the same throughout the formula. They're all creamy and con is that they're very very drying now all of them aren't that drying in my opinion the only one color that I have problems with is my absolute favorite color and that color is Frederic Frederic is a brown that when it dries it starts to crumble on your inner you know right in there or whatever and transfers on your teeth etc a lot of you guys have reached out in my comment section on Instagram and YouTube having the same problems and I happen to have the same problem but I really really love this color this color is amazing and my second favorite color from her collection is in James James is absolutely amazing this color is to die for it's like the perfect nude for um, dark skin Let's see if I can put that right there. it's like a pinky mauvey nude color and it dries down amazing 
So um, I have all the colors that I have here I bought by myself. But Marlene was kind enough to send me a few colors right here in Adam and Aziz. And before, when she started out, she didn't have any labeling at the bottom. These are the colors that I bought. And some of them I had to label myself with like a Sharpie. But with these new colors that she has, I don't know if you guys can see, but the labels are at the bottom of it. Um, so that's it. And these things, I bought them at $8. Now you can get them at either $6 or $5. Um, she's always having a deal on her Instagram page and her website. There's always a deal. Even though they go for $18, I don't think anyone has ever bought them except one of my friends, Vanity Insanity. She actually bought them at $18 and I felt really bad because they were, I bought them at $8. Some people buy them at $10. Some people buy them at $6. But she's always having a deal on these things. But that is it for Lena Lashes. Um, I have no other cons about them except for the fact that they really dry matte. They dry extremely matte. Like, extremely matte. The next um, brand that I'm going to be talking about from this same container is going to be Gerard Cosmetics. I got them when they hit a million on Instagram and they usually retail for $20 but they were having a 50% off sale. Y'all know how I feel about a coupon code. Let me just tell you something. Even though we all work hard for our coins, getting a coupon code it saves lives. Do you hear me? Because you just have to find, do your research. Everybody's not going to do the work for you. Find the coupon code. And I found a coupon code. So I always find coupon codes. Now, Anastasia and them don't have coupon codes. So Kaplan D probably would never have a coupon code, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So Gerard, I picked up five colors. I'll show you in a second. This retail for $20, but they're always having a deal. Like, uh, every, I feel like a lot of people have coupon codes to these. My girl Tammy, Makeup by Tammy, has a coupon code. I'll leave it right here. I think it's Tammy30. I'll double check. But she has a coupon code. You can get 30% off. Um... I love the unique packaging with Gerard. They have like this frost-like uh, feel. And the formula is actually really, really up there with my faves. But I don't think it's in my top five. But we'll talk about my top five at the end. The formula is the same consistency throughout. It could be a little bit liquidy at times, but that's okay. But it's really, really hydrating. They call them the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks, I believe. So they're really, really comfortable, long-wearing. Colors that I have are pastel colors, like, you know, natural colors. So my favorite from this line will be Ice Mocha and uh, Ruby Slipper. Ice Mocha is a beautiful nude that'll look really, really great on our skin tone. And they smell amazing. That's another thing that I haven't been saying. It's like a nudie brown color that it look good with like a chestnut lip liner etc this smells great um some of the other liquid lipsticks the brands that i've talked about they don't smell they don't have any fragrance to it so far uh lena lashes doesn't have a fragrance to it colored rain doesn't have a fragrance to it the lip bar doesn't have a fragrance to it anastasia has a fragrance to it Kat Von d doesn't what else? Uh, ColourPop doesn't have a fragrance to it. They all smell like chemicals, but I guess it's just something that we have to live with, you know? So the next brand from this collection, from this uh, container, is going to be Lime Crime. Now, before I even start with Lime Crime, like, everyone, everything is not meant for everyone. I understand the issues with Lime Crime, but I got them way before I even found out about them. So, that's like me knowing everything that I know about Jeffree Star and I'm still going out of my way to support him? Absolutely not. With Lime Crime, I already had these products before I found out all the things that um, people were saying or all the reviews people had, etc. But with Lime Crime, I have three shades. My first shade that I bought was Cashmere. Cashmere was the OG of the grunge lippy and then everyone came out with it. I haven't really used this color in a long time and as you can see it's separated in the container that happens especially because I don't have them laying I mean I don't have them standing up they're laying flat in my things so when I need to use it I just have to shake it up and bam back to new but like I was saying cashmere was the OG of the grunge nude thing that everyone has jumped on now if I'm wrong please correct me but I I know what I'm talking about so cashmere is really really light on our skin tone and um, as you can see it's up here her formula is very runny very liquidy and it has a little bit of moisture in it and sometimes can go on like paint the next color that I have is in Salem Salem is another true brown that I feel like she started 
and then everyone jumped on the the brown craze Salem's formula is different from cashmere so do y'all see what I'm saying um, and then the last color that I got is in Jinx I got this a long time ago Jinx is a purple I'm running out of space it's like a lilac lavender color pros and cons pros is that I like the packaging I like the unique cap on the bottom I mean at the top right here and her bottle kind of looks like the same thing with Gerard Cosmetics. The formula is the same consistency throughout, that it's kind of liquidy, it's not thick, it doesn't have the mousse-like texture like the other colors that I have. The only con that I have that is a little bit runny, you know, sometimes it, it'll drop if you're not careful, so some companies do that and some don't, so um, these do that. And they are $20 a pop, so, which is why I only got three, hello. Um, she really has deals on her liquid lipsticks, but some of them are like permanently on sale, so you might want to check that out. Hey y'all, I had to take a break. It's getting hot and hungry. So the next uh, brands in the next container are Dose of Colors, Makeup Monsters, and Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. So we're just going to tackle these three brands at the same, well not the same time, you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to start with... Pretty Zombie. Pretty Zombie uh, was the first liquid lipstick company that I ever bought and I bought it in because my girl Natasha, Nana Natasha, <laughs> I bought it a long time ago. The first color that I bought was in Purple Poison. As you can see it has separated. Can y'all see that? It's just so cool to see what the separation looks like. It's like majority oil etc. But when I bought this the first time, the shipping was ridiculous. It literally took like three weeks to get it, but that was years ago. But now they have improved with their shipping. So um, I have how many colors? Seven colors from this brand. Um, this is an indie brand. Um, they are called Makeup, I mean, Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. They have like really, really gothic colors, which is okay. Um, a lot of us have dark sides. Okay, I know I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. Everybody has a, a dark side to them. But anyways, um, the colors that I have are, this is Black Cat. This is Zombetti. This is a very nice red. A very slept on red. It's almost up there with Cherry Blossom, but just maybe three shades lighter. And they are $12. Well, when I bought them, they were $12. They might be $14 now. So double check. And there's no coupon codes. Then Purple Poison, Vamp. Uh, Transylvania Three Witches is what Natasha made me buy. It looked amazing on her. So I bought it when I bought Purple Poison and I just added to them uh, Dahlia and Sea Witch. Sea Witch is a blue. Oops. Sea Witch is a blue. As you can see, they have like fun, unique colors. I've never tried any other blue uh, liquid lipsticks. Um, I'll link all the videos in the description bar, but this blue is amazing. So pros and cons. Pros. It is $12 to $14. It's pretty decent price. You know what I mean? And they have a wide range of colors. They have some new, newer shades. They have a brown that I want to try. But I feel like I have a thousand browns, so I don't need no more. Uh, the cons is that the formula is kind of runny. I'll show you in a second. Not runny, but it, it doesn't have moisture in it. And some of them are runny. Some of them are kind of thick. So this is Dahlia. See, Dahlia's consistency is like a moussey, kind of like a, you know, creamy texture. But some of the other colors aren't the same way. So the same thing applies. Different consistencies in, in, in the, you know, different colors. It's not the same consistency throughout. So I guess it's a thing for everyone, like I was saying. And I wanted to say that this black called Black Cat is the blackest black that I've ever seen. I even went on dupe that uh, on Instagram and they swatched like all the black liquid lipsticks that they have and this was the only one that stood out. It is amazing. It is all the way black. I'm going to be working on some ombre videos so this is going to be in it as a lip liner. So that is it for uh, Pretty Zombie. I really don't have anything bad to say about them because they're pretty decent. So the next I'm going to do Dose of Colors in a minute. Dose of Colors is also up there with my top. Oh my gosh, I don't think they are my top 5, but this is, this is top 10. So, I recently just uh, got on the bandwagon of those of, those of Colors. I believe they're $18 or $20. I think I bought them from $18. I think they're pretty pricey for, you know, what it is because everyone has liquid lipsticks. So, 
I feel like people should, you know, knock down their prices. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But uh, uh, Dose of Colors is actually really, really good. Their consistency is the same throughout. I have it in Chocolate Wasted, Brick, and Mood. I have a video on these. I have swatches everywhere on the gram, so go check it out. Um, Chocolate Wasted was really, really raved about, but before I got Chocolate Wasted, I already have like maybe 10 or 11 brown lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I have a video on my top 10 brown liquid lipsticks on my channel, so check it out. Um, but this wasn't in it because I recently just got it last couple of months. But Chocolate Wasted did not give me that satisfaction as most people because I already have enough browns, but it's still a pretty, pretty brown. Um, the consistency is the same throughout, like I said, and they have a good smell to it. It does, doesn't smell like uh, chemicals, and the formula is really, really, really nice. It's like a moussey texture and very creamy. It doesn't, you know, go on like paint. And cons, I really don't have any cons. They dry moderately okay, like every normal liquid lipstick. They don't, they don't dry too matte, so that's okay. I really don't have any cons about these. So the next brand that I'm going to be showing you guys are from uh, Makeup Monsters Cosmetics. When I first started the whole YouTube thing, Makeup Monsters was the first company to ever reach out to me to send me their brands to review. Um, some of the colors they sent me, I gave them to my best friends because I just had way too many colors or whatever. So. Um, the colors that I have left are in Just Add Marshmallow, which is another good nude. I have a video on these. Um, Black and Heart is my favorite red from this company. Oh my god. Actually, Black and Heart is my favorite vampy red ever. This color is a to die for. Then Brick House, y'all have seen this on my page. I swatched it with Brick, Brick, brick from uh, Dose of Colors and Brick House from um, Color Drain, but I think this one takes the cake. Uh, and then Brick House from Colored Rain is number two. And then I have it in Hit the Dirt, which is another nude. Sedona, which I got for myself. Um, Bite Me and Maroon Masquerade. Um, I also got Black and Heart by myself because I really, really like this color when I saw it on uh, Miss Photogenic Baby when we did that red liquid lipstick video. So pros and cons. Pros. It is $14 to $15, which is pretty decent. Um, she has a vast range of colors like this is one of the companies that has a lot of unique colors to satisfy everyone's moods you know like people have dark sides happy fun creative you know whatever if you want to look like a clown today and you need a lip, lipstick, lipstick to go with it makeup masters got you they have so many fun vibrant colors etc so that is a good thing about it um, cons is that it goes on like paint so there's no creaminess in there it's kind of like you know just goes on so you really have to moisturize before applying it and this rule applies to every liquid lipstick that I own okay, so I have two containers left yes. so we're gonna start with this one this one has Kylie lip kit Mac NYX lingerie and Ofra so we're gonna start with Kylie lip kit again I'm wearing court K I've been wearing it all day today and it's comfortable like I don't even know that I have something on my lips now say what you want about Kylie but Kylie's formula is amazing so I have six colors from uh, Kylie cosmetics and now she's doing singles where you can buy them for $18 a pop or as a kit for 30 bucks and the kit comes with a lip liner as we all know and um, Kylie's formula honestly you guys is one of the best Take it, take it for what you want, say whatever you want about Kylie, but her, her formula is in my top five. This formula is absolutely amazing. It's very similar to um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It smells like candy. It is amazing. So, with that being said, it is made in America, cruelty free, vegan free. I think Candy K, I mean vegan free, but it's vegan. Candy K on her website is the only one that is not vegan, but everything else is vegan. So you can get them as singles or you can get them as a as a deal like I did back in the day. But um, so all her oops, all her pastel colors like this all go on amazing. They don't flake, they don't crack. Again, this is Court K. I've been wearing it since I've been doing this video and it hasn't cracked one bit. Even if you look in here, it's still fine. And 
they dry very matte and they don't transfer so the only bad thing that I have to say about this is that um, Mary Jo K crumbles like a mug I don't know what she did wrong I don't know if she has improved the formula on these but I got them when they first released or the second release maybe the second release because I wanted to see what it looked like on dark skin but this formula crumbles like a mug everything else works a hundred percent okay but uh, I'll have to give this one a 3 out of 10 because it really, really crumbles when it dries. And then it's the kind of color that is very neon-like. So you have to keep applying to get the color payoff that you want. And then because you have to keep applying, it crumbles when you apply it. So I don't know if she has improved it. If you have it and it has improved, let me know. But what I have isn't working out. So I usually just use something else or mix it with something else, another red. To prevent it from cracking up so that's it with Kylie all right you guys so the next brand I'm gonna be talking about is Ofra cosmetics so Ofra cosmetics um, I recently became an affiliate I'll link my code right here you can th get 30% off if you buy anything from Ofra but before I became an affiliate I bought maybe six or seven colors by myself and they sent me a uh, a couple of more but they had there were duplicates so I gave it away uh, on Instagram to a loyal follower Gold's Pale hey girl but anyways um this formula is the same throughout same consistency throughout with every single different color that they have and I love it the the formula is very moussey this is Brooklyn but the fragrance there's no fragrance to it it just smells like chemicals so that's the con of that but the consistency is like a soft matte cream texture it doesn't dry almost immediately and I said that in my first review video but after a while it dries and it doesn't transfer the formula is in my top five because it is comfortable the entire day it's not sucking the life out of your lips it is very moisturizing I love that it's really like the formula is the same when you open a bottle it's the same thing that you expect this color right here is called Queens and it's the exact same thing as court K actually so I have swatches of this somewhere I think on on Instagram I believe if not I'll do another one but you can use uh, fat cocoa 30 to get a coupon code off of this cons is that it doesn't dry like when I filmed the first video I was timing the drying time it literally took maybe four minutes to dry so I guess if you put it on and you're going going about your day it eventually dries but it doesn't dry right away but overall this formula is great it's amazing it is made in America cruelty free and it's vegan so the next colors I'm going to be showing you guys are my two <laughs> lonely colors from Sephora brand I had it in always red but I gave it away but the two colors that I have don't even have names they are in number four and number two number four is like a mauve pink color and then this is a nude color uh, the Sephora brand lip liquid lipsticks are pretty pretty nice actually they smell nice the, the formula is comfortable it's over here formula is comfortable uh, I think they are 12 or 14 dollars so they're pretty affordable and they have you know pretty nice colors so people people really really sleep on Sephora brand items like their concealers are my favorite so Sephora brand items are really really nice um, I really don't have anything bad to say about these um, these were actually one of the first ones that I got after I got pretty zombie so that is that the next uh, brand I'm gonna be talking about is gonna be the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks these things are seven dollars a pop pretty affordable they are very creamy the formula is the same all through and uh, one second I want to see if it has a smell to it yep smells like chemicals uh, the doe foot applicator is pretty elongated every other one has been you know short and normal the application is amazing it's really really moussey it's comfortable but the only con that I have to say about it is when it dries and you purse your lips together, they're very, very tacky. So they stick and glue onto your, you know, top lip, etc. Um, I only got it in five shades and I have a full review and swatches on all these. So check it out in the description bar. The last color um, brand that I'm going to be talking about from this cubicle are my MAC liquid lipsticks. I also have a video on all these, so check it out. 
I got three color colors to begin with, but I gave the red that I got, which is Dance With Me, I gave it to one of my best friends. So I'm left with High Drama and Old Lady. These things are $20 a pop, and I don't think they need to be that much. Like, MAC took forever to get on the liquid lipstick bandwagon, but I feel like some of the colors they came out with, we already had it in lipstick form. But the formula is amazing. This is in my top five, for sure, or top ten. And their applicator is different from everyone's. The formula is really, really moussey and soft. And it smells like what their lipsticks already smell like. I really don't have anything bad to say about these, except that they're just expensive, $20. But that's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? And there are no coupon codes, so that is that. The next color I got is called Old Lady. I really like this pink. Um, this is the same color from this color. There's a dupe for it. It is Obsession by Milani, and I don't have any Milani products yet, so I'm still trying to get my hands on them. But this color is the same exact thing as Milani Obsession, if you were wondering. All right, you guys, we are in the last cubicle. And we have LA Splash and OPV liquid lipsticks. I'm tired, y'all. All right, you guys. So all these OPV products were sent to me, and I'm really, really grateful for them. Um, the first batch that they have, if you scroll through their page, you see the ones that are the newer colors, and you see the ones that are the older colors. The first batch that they had, uh, pros and cons first. Pros is black owned. I think one of the owners is Nigerian and they're located in the UK. So if you're in the UK and you need liquid lipsticks, holla at them. First formula that they had when they first released their sets of liquid lipsticks, the formula was not creamy at all. Like it literally went on like paint. But then the second batch that they sent me, which I just posted on my Instagram, so go check that out. It goes on like butter. It is so soft, it's like whipped butter it's amazing like I've never felt any other thing like that in my entire life when you're putting it on and it dries the color changes a little bit it doesn't look like what it is go you have to check my Instagram to see what I'm talking about it the, when you put it on the color that it dries matte to is not the same as when you were putting it on does that, does that make sense but that's the only con that I have to say about it they have no fragrance to it but the newer collection, my favorite are Lecky Chick, Saturn, Lost, Divine, and I think Silencer, which is a red. So go check them out. I think they retail for £7.99p in London, but for us, that'll be like $14 or something, or $12. So the next brand I'm going to be showing you guys are LA Splash Cosmetics, and I bought these all by myself. I don't have any affiliates or anything with them, so I'll show you guys in a second. So here are all the colors that I have from LA Splash. Um, back in the day when I first started swatching, I had four colors from them. In Nymphadora, Latte Confession, um, Love Good. I think I got like three colors and then recently I added more to it. Pros and cons. These are around uh, $14 I believe. They started off at $12 so they might be between $14 and $15. Um, they have great customer service. You can actually talk to a live representative to help you place your order, which is actually amazing. Um, because when I ordered one of them, I ordered five, and then I saw another color that I wanted, and they hadn't shipped it out. So I called them. I was like, hey, can you add another color to my order and charge me? And they did that. So I didn't have to reorder, etc., which I thought was amazing. Now, pros, they have really, really amazing colors. Like, their browns, their vampy colors are amazing they look great on but the only thing that I don't like is that they dry insanely matte and they make it uncomfortable to wear so before I got Raven so before I had Raven Claw and then they upgraded Raven Claw to Raven the Raven Claw from back in the day used to crumble crack and crumble and then I heard that they re-improved the, the formula and changed it to Raven so ever since they did that Raven has been bay but they're still the same things, but I'm still going to use my Ravenclaw because I paid money for both of them. But that's the only thing that I have to say about uh, LA Splash as far as the cons. And the formula is pretty much the same throughout, but it dries extremely matte. So you need to really, really moisturize before um, using them. Guys, so I wanted to tell you guys my favorite liquid lipsticks, my favorite brand, my pretty much my top five. 
and this is in no particular order so we have color drain kylie cosmetics anastasia beverly hills kat von d and ofra cosmetics my top five if you want a list of my top 10 liquid lipstick companies and etc i'll link it in the comment in the description bar and you can check it out but like i said in no particular order those are my top five i really love the uh, liquid lipsticks I love how they make my lips feel they don't suck the life out of my lips so that's why they are in my top five so let me know if you guys have any top five or top three top two etc let me know in the comment section so I can see and I can talk to you that brings me to the end of the video I hope you guys found this video very helpful and I hope I was able to deliver thank you guys so much for watching it is hot right now so I'm about to go find somebody pull to jump in but I'm just kidding guys so much for watching love y'all so much and thank you all for 20k like that literally happened a couple of days ago if you follow me on snap you see that I announced it I think I'm gonna have a giveaway at 25k so um yeah I'm already gathering all my supplies together for that giveaway so let's get to 25k and we'll have a giveaway so love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys